Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Shu. In today's video, I want to introduce five best apps for building your digital filing cabinet so you never forget anything. So I just said these apps are so you don't forget anything. But in fact, I think the biggest benefit of these tools is that they make you feel safe to forget things so you can focus on thinking instead of trying to remember everything in your head. Writing down and saving things to your digital filing cabinet allows you to unload information off of your mind, which frees up a lot of mental space. For that benefit you get, I think the price for these tools is cheap in my opinion. Having said that, let's dive in. The first one on my list is AppNext. This is a new app I discovered recently. Essentially, it's kind of like a reading app, like Pocket and Instapaper, but I think it's great as a digital library where you can save your favorite articles, videos, websites, and so on. It's similar to another reading app I like called Matter, but I picked AppNext for this list because it's available both on iOS and Android, whereas Matter is an iOS exclusive app. Anyway, AppNex is great. You can save any blog post, video, or anything you don't want to forget from your mobile, as well as from your internet browser with just a few clicks. Then what's cool about it is that it organizes the item you saved into categories like a long read, short listen, etc., which makes it easier to navigate and find the items you're looking for. It has full text search, which means you can search inside the articles and uh, website you saved. Also, you can follow your favorite blogs, newsletters, and the creators. So whenever they publish new content, it will show up in your timeline so you can save it directly to your library. And then you can organize the things in your library into lists. So for example, you can make a list for Photoshop tutorials and a list of useful apps and so on. Also, you can attach a note to any item. If you want to add a bit of description or memo so you can remember them or find them more easily later on. And it can be connected to Readwise. It means if you make highlights in AppNext, they can be exported to your favorite note app. I think it's got everything you need as a digital filing cabinet. It's not free and uh, it's a little bit more expensive than apps like Pocket and uh, Instapaper, but I think the extra features are well worth the price. All right, the second one is MyReach. Again, this is a new app, but I think it's fascinating and has tons of potential. What's unique about this app is that you can connect the items you saved directly to each other. So for example, if you think a blog post is related to a book, you can link them together so you can build a network of items inside your digital filing cabinet. Depending on the items you saved, it will assign it various properties, which can be like location, URL, priorities, due dates, status, and so on, which makes it easier to organize them. Once you give them your preferred properties and uh, connections, you can switch to the visualizer, which is kind of like the graph view in some note apps. I think this is super cool and useful to easily see how different items are related to each other. You can build your own Wikipedia inside your digital library. Right now, my reach is free and available both on iOS and Android, so try it out. The next one I want to recommend is Notion. Well, I don't think you need an explanation for this one, so I keep it brief. Notion is just so versatile that it can be anything. Some people use it as a note app, other people use it as a project management tool, etc. So naturally, it can be a digital filing cabinet too. Simply save anything you want to remember on the web from the share menu on mobile or the browser extension, and then you can organize them inside Notion however you like. I'm definitely not an expert on this app, so I skip the details. And also, Evernote is still a great filing cabinet too. All right, the next one is the one I actually use, that is Raindrop. If you've been following my channel, you might be sick of hearing this app already, but it's super useful and cheap. I love the UI, which looks awesome. Essentially, you can save any link as well as photos, videos, PDFs, and uh, audio files in Raindrop and then organize them into a list or with tags, which you can share with your friends and family easily. This might be handy when you are collecting resources for a project with other people. A great thing is that you can upload up to 10 gigabytes a month if you have the pro plan. So you could use it just like Google Drive and uh, Dropbox, but apparently you cannot upload a huge file that's more than like 
300 megabytes, so not suitable if you have lots of big files. Anyway, what I love here is that it can save permanent copies of the items you saved. It means if you save a blog post to Raindrop, it will automatically take a, a copy of it, so you can see it even if the blog post got taken down or disappears. But my most favorite thing about Raindrop is that it has integrations with many apps. Most importantly, you can connect it to Alfred and Raycast if you're using Mac. This way, you can instantly look up things in your Raindrop library anywhere on your Mac. So you can find the links, photos, videos, or anything you saved in just a few seconds. For me, Raindrop is a nearly perfect digital filing cabinet. Although some people are concerned about its privacy policy, if you have a look at their app privacy, you can see it collects some data about you. And also, Sam points out that it's made by a Russian company. So if you're worried about that, you might want to try another tool. Perhaps you like the next one. Last but not least is My Mind, which is one of my all time favorite apps. It has an excellent privacy policy as well as unique, great features as your digital library. My Mind uses AI to automatically organize the things you saved. So let's say you see an awesome blog post. You want to save it so you don't forget about it. Just send it to My Mind and it will automatically analyze the content of the article using AI and assign a bunch of tags. By doing so, it makes it much easier to find this item later when you need it. So this is the biggest benefit of using this tool. It saves you tons of time for organizing the items you saved by yourself because it does that for you. So if you're tired of reviewing everything you saved and uh, giving it some tags, this is perfect. Also compared to Raindrop, it doesn't collect any data about you. So if privacy is your concern, this could be the one. On the other hand, it doesn't have a good sharing option like Raindrop, maybe because it puts an emphasis on privacy. It lets you generate a public link to an item which only lasts 24 hours, but that's it, or more than that. To most people, this might be enough, but I find it a little bit insufficient for my workflow. Another thing is that you cannot create folders or lists for organization, which is understandable because the concept of this app is your mind, which of course doesn't have any folder, but it'll be nice to have in my opinion. But I heard that they're making something similar, so there may be something like a list or a folder soon. Overall, my mind is such a fantastic app. I've been a huge fan of it for more than two or three years and very excited about how it's going to be in the future. It's available both on iOS and Android, so you can check it out. All right, those were my favorite tools as your digital fighting cabinet. Let me know in the comment which one you liked. And also, if you want to know the best apps for organizing your life in general, don't forget to check out this video. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.